Hello everybody, this is AK. I'm back. So this is the companion video of um, the blog post I published uh, just now, right? So if you have already um, read the blog post, then uh, you can skip the video. Um, for those who don't read my blogs and rather listen to me talk to myself, uh, so uh, stay tuned, right? Uh, so yesterday I produced a YouTube video uh, when someone alerted me to buy some bank stocks and I thought the stock market had crashed and of course I did not look at uh, stocks for two weeks uh, prior to the alert like I said uh, with all that has been going on in my life and um, so when I checked well it wasn't a crash right I mean there's a steep correction but not a crash um, and th this blog post is more a reminder to myself what I want to do next because I am aware that apathy uh, towards financial matters has set in for me. Right? I'm feeling quite apathetic. Right? So if I don't put these things down in writing, I might just let inaction take over and not do anything. Right? So uh, the first thing has to do with bank stocks, right? DBS, OCBC and UOB. Uh, I have said many times before that it is a good idea to invest in our local banks because they are well run and well capitalized. And this started in 2016 when I first bought into uh, DBS at 13 to 14 dollars per share. Right? And since then I've been buying and then went on with buying OCBC's stocks and later on uh, UOB's stocks during the COVID-19 pandemic and I've been adding to my positions even at higher prices and um, yeah like I say banks or banks are well run well capitalized they have the ability to pay good dividends and they are willing to do so right so uh, further decline in stock in their stock prices I, I believe would be an opportunity to add to my positions so for DBS I want to add at $32.50 per share and also $30 per share right and for UOB I'm looking at the possibility of adding at $28 per share OCBC at $13 per share and uh, as I've I am already substantially invested in all three banks. I will add slowly and buy more uh, if the prices go lower, right? Uh, because the unthinkable, like I said, could happen. It could be a war, it could be a huge recession. And uh, when the unthinkable happens, that's when stock prices will go farther south, right? So that's number one, bank stocks. Number two, T-bill ladder. Of course, the TBU ladder is something I've talked about quite a bit in recent times, in the last two years maybe. And um, I've maintained a ladder, right, uh, because I think it's a good way of uh, making our money work harder in a risk-free, volatility-free manner, a uh, decent yield and uh, this a good place to park our war chest where money comes back every two weeks. Right. I'm talking about six months T bills, of course, but the last auction, the cutoff yield came in at 3.4% per annum, which was a drastic decline, right? So you talk about stock market crashing, maybe T bill yields, you can also say it's crashing, right? And 3.4% per annum is only slightly higher than the 3.3% per annum I can get from a six months fixed D from CIMB, right? However, I remind myself that T-bills are backed by our government, right? I don't have to worry about exceeding 100K in value, for example. I mean, remember the SDIC, SDIC, right? Our money in the our banks are only insured up to $100,000 uh, per bank, right? So, but the adjustment that I have to make when it comes to T-bills is that uh, when I'm using money from my CPF OA, Right, so instead of placing competitive bids at 3.5%, if when I'm using CPF OA money, I will lower it to 3.4%. 
Yeah, because I think if the cutoff yield comes in lower than 3.4%, I will simply leave the money in the CPF OA. The difference in interest is not going to be game breaking, right? Um, then the break even yield, if I remember correctly, is about 3.33% in case we lose two additional months of CPF OA interest, right? So if the cutoff yield comes in lower than 3.4%, then I'll just leave. Um, the money in the CPF OA, right? So this is the video compen uh, version of the blog post. If AK can talk to himself, so can you. Bye-bye.